Um, as I mentioned, the, the, the first chapter was about talking about uh, tidy models, what is it, and uh, all uh, the, the structure of the, this book, uh, which has uh, changed a bit since uh, last, um, like, last time I did it. And they improved some some chapter. They add things, and uh, uh, so uh, one main change is this uh, chapter, which is the mentioned the tidyverse principles. And as you might know, that there has been quite an improvement within the tidyverse package meta package. And um, within this chapter, it basically emphasized uh, about the uh, difference between using base R um, uh, more than tidy verse. And um, at this purpose, uh, um, you know, that um, I've um, collected some. Um, uh, information uh, which I put in the chat, uh, and those are nice to to have because this is the uh, are the two books. I don't know if you know about them, uh, which are mentioned in the in the book. And one is this design tidyverse dot org. Uh, what is it? Which is this one here? Uh, it's um, um, I think they it's a tidy diverse book, uh, and it is about the design of tidy uh, and you find um, um, how you can design problems uh, using um, tidy diverse syntax, so with pipes and everything. Uh, what are the patterns that you can use and the K principles, so as well as an application with case studies. And there is another one, uh, which is tidyverse.org, and it is this other one. Uh, there, there are quite a uh, few interesting information or finally collected all together. So you can see that if you uh, need some like help on how to use it, uh, you can find it here. And basically the book mentions the fact that uh, uh, using this uh, type of syntax is um, helps you uh, somehow speed up the code and uh, um, as well as ordering um, so all the, the the steps that you do within your code. And, you know, the, the tidyverse is a more human um, uh, focused language. So more human readable. And uh, so th this is all about this, uh, um, this chapter. Uh, in particular, I have more information uh, collected here uh, where you can find um, the uh, latest changes um, in the tidyverse. We had an event, um, uh, so Isabella uh, presented us about all the changes within the tidyverse. There is a, a great website, which is uh, this one here, and you can see. Uh, and here you can find all the things that they have uh, uh, improved in the tidyverse meta package. So they have included like lubricate or made changes within the case when adding uh, other type of cases. Uh, and then you have other join functions uh, and the unnest. Uh, as well as been included. So uh, in the in the chat I put the a video uh, for for uh, Isabella um, to tell us all all about these changes. And uh, this is what's happened. Yeah, just to clarify, right? Um, 
I, I have no idea the updated the timing was, but is that updated in the book as well, the tiny verse book as well? The newest changes, the one that you're showing was the tiny verse 2.0. Is that updated in the tiny verse book? I believe so. Okay. Then I will check it out. Thank you. I, I believe so. Uh, there might be... Uh, because there's two books. One, one is the style guide and one is the design, the Tidyverse design guide. So this is most about, mostly about um, how to set up a design using the Tidyverse language. And uh, here there's, there's some uh, in, like instruction about how to style your code using the tidyverse. Uh, these are the the very um, uh, 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 structured functions uh, within the tidyverse language. So, um, but uh, what what I found interesting that is shown in the chapter, uh, like a sort of comparison uh, between the base R and the uh, use of the tidyverse. So for example, uh, when you use base R, you like um, include things uh, uh, within each other with um, like a sort of uh, matrioska, one inside of the other, while within, with, when you use tidyverse, you have um, a sort of flow chart. So um, a list uh, of, function that you uh, use connected with a pipe so that it's a sort of like a more human readable because you know that you start from from for example this this data set and then the, the action that you uh, make is to arrange and then slice uh, while with base are you have all nested within each other so this is what is mentioned basically in the in this chapter, and um, yeah, all things that we I think we we are already know are aware about those things. <laughs> um, but uh, that that's why this is another uh, interesting blog. I don't know if you know about that. So this is the Tidyverse blog, and you find the latest information here um, about um, all the things that are included now in the, within the Tidyverse, for example, all the little changes. But uh, I'm insisting saying that this, this website is very uh, full of information. So uh, I like uh, this new joint um, functions and um, so there are many things. I don't know if you like to, um, do, do, do you know about the, those things? I'm sure that um, I still haven't used it personally uh, somehow because I stick on what I know already. Um, So let, let's see this. Right. I also did not use much of them, but I saw people post like the snippets of the quotes at Twitter. So I was just reading it. Like, so I haven't even tried all these new features. Exactly. Yeah, I saw the one where they posted about the case when where it gets the way they analyze NA data, it was slightly different. So if I really have to do it, then I have to really, I'll go search when I need to use it. <laughs> yeah, basically they, they add some changes within, then you can uh, specify the NAR values. Uh, and instead of using this true, you now can use the default other. Uh, then there is, um, 
you get you cannot uh, so there's a few few uh, like improvements um, yeah for example you can just deny directly to specify missing values something that you couldn't do before you know to specify um, is not um what else is uh so that's lubricate inside uh even the grouping uh you have some some interesting changes within the uh the group by syntax when you grouping uh, now um you can use a reframe instead of summarize which automatically ungroup um the the reframing data set so before you had to uh, group so, so you do you did group by summarize and then ungroup or um, specify the ungroup things inside the summarize function while now if you use a reframe uh, it, it does uh, or group drop no uh, now you can use just the reframe and it drop the groups automatically. Um, this one here. Uh, then you can use by or dot by instead of group by. So there are some functions that allows you to use or just by or dot by instead of group by. So you can put everything inside a function inside a uh for for example you can uh, um uh, uh use slice marks function and then you group by company instead of doing group and all the other things like mutate and then um revenue equals to slice marks no uh oh those things um, yeah. another one is uh this join um basically you can do join by uh, when you do inner join and then by, what changes is join by. So now you do inner join and then by join by company, for example. So you can use this join by. Because then you, before you had to transform the variable as a character with the quotations. While now, if you use just joint bar, you don't need to use the quotation. Um, and so in the chat, uh, it says that basically uh, this is the syntax used uh, in the tidy models, uh, which is with pipes and everything. There's some changes within the map function as well. Use it. Uh, and this is an example uh, when you use uh, tidyverse and loop date, then you have like this data uh, and then some some um, vector selected then you mutate because you want to adapt the date as a, a month day a year so uh, like you do transformation of your predictors and then you group by and summarize and group drop so this uh, um, is still the old uh, version but 
this is still can be used somehow summarize is highlighted when you use it said that you can use reframe so you don't uh, use the group drop yeah let's have a look at some others interesting things um the separate function um separate uh, separate rows and extract here you can use it uh, so before you use it separate and then you specify the string or extract now you can uh, specify um like um if it's wider or longer the position and even use the regex 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 for example um, there is um uh so there is a, some 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 other functions to mention it so for example, if you select, if you have this data set, which is station, and there are like the date um, and some other values, then you can select the date and then uh, you can split the, the uh, daytime column uh, into with separate wider position. So you specify that date is your the new what is it what is ah, okay the date is the is the vector that you want to um separate and then you use width so you you specify the number of characters uh because those are fixed number of characters so you just specify you don't need to like specify the origin as before with the quotation and then the percent sign d is that the, is this the same as what they did was in uh lubricate right that way you have to split y y percentage month month then percentage so exactly. instead of doing that way now so the now is we doing it with like you specify the first one is the character followed by the spacing and the next one will be the time is it so do yeah. they separate into so by doing this way you separate into two columns oh three mm -hmm. columns because you have three a columns. column for space too <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah oh okay then we can deselect the space later Oh, this yeah. is interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that that's interesting. Um, and uh, so the example with the date, but you can uh, if you have a string of characters, uh, um, like you you know that uh, the first part is of ten characters, then you leave leave a space, and then the others. So for for date. You assign the the the, na the name of the new column, whatever you like. Yeah. So one one more question, sorry. So because uh, year Monday, not every country is using yeah. year right. Monday. So they have different formats for is it in the syntax. So it can be date month year or like maybe year date month. Those are able. I am able to do that right using this yeah oh, okay hmm. uh let's see wider uh this is what separate wider position and as well uh you cannot specify so you can do whatever you like so it's not said that you uh and then there is this too many thing uh equals debug uh this this is because there uh so you have four um 
10 characters and then a space that you are not considering here. So then if you uh, use this other option too many, um, what is it? Okay, so it says that, uh, is that okay? If that's uh, okay or not. So because you are not considering the space. So you're missing something here. Okay, so the, the last, you have day time. Uh, these are 10 characters. Then you have a space, which you are not considering here. And then you have the remaining eight characters. But I think, right, if, if, if we look at the output, right, the character is included into the HMS variable. Because if you look at it, it's quotation mark, and there's a space in front of the hour. So rather than, I think what they did was rather than they split into year, month, date, space, hours, um, hours, minutes, second, they combine the space with the hours, minute, second. But what if I just want that hour, minute, and second without the space in front? Do I have to remove it with another line of function? Because the space is definitely is inside the string. In front, there's a space in front of all the time. Yeah, that, that's basically when you guess, so you're not sure. Maybe you have uh -huh. a, a column which might be can be can be different within the, within the if length so uh you you if it happens that you specified wrongly uh you can debug it and say it says if if that's okay or not so the the things that you specified it's okay so so you have if you guess all the characters instead it said the the, the characters remaining remain uh, from from date um, vector is uh, uh, th there is a character uh, uh, so they okay, are nineteen okay. instead of eighteen. Okay, no, I understand. Sorry. <laughs> so uh -huh. the actual date, okay, the original date column has nineteen characters. Okay, but when you specify, you just specify 10 and 8. That's why they felt that the number did not tally. That's why they, the, they put out a Boolean expression. The date okay was false because 18 obviously not equals to 19. Right. But what was the date remainder for? Like, why is it zero? Like, shouldn't uh, it be 19 minus 18 should be one? <laughs> Yeah, it should be one exactly, but maybe because it's not a character, it's just a white space, so it's oh, a black space. It could be. It's a, okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, so this is a wider position, and then there is a wider delim, and so. Um, so I, that that's few two things. Let's go back here. And the join functions uh, even are nice. So you have this table. And um, you can do, so you, you usually do inner join and then the vector, and then you buy and specify, no? So the, the things. Now um, you can do join by. We have seen that. But I wanted to see if there, there were, because there are other join um, thing. Uh, you can do directly join by, for example. Join by company, such a merge, same as merge function. 
then you how do we get the match it seems the equal sign is longer equal is that for that is that is this is the i think this is you mentioned is a match symbol right it's not the equal symbol right so but my keyboard only has the equal symbol to and how do i get this correct the match in in the r can i just put equal that will be the same mm, I'm, I'm because not, like I'm if not. you scroll up to the top i think i saw something where you mentioned uh the inequality join that's the two equal or one? No, oh, yeah one. here oh so uh, this the longer one is actually two equals the uh, equal. okay yeah, yeah yeah the logic right okay so it's like two equals instead of one equal okay <laughs> sorry i got confused like where to get that symbol <laughs> exactly exactly okay uh, and then what else even that there is a function closest. To, we can be using within the inner join. So but it, uh, you inner join uh, transition with companies uh, by company ID. So the company and the ID. And then you select by the closest year greater than since, greater or equal than since. Yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> yeah, it might be useful. And. So that that's that's many things to to uh, to look at, and some some improvements I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. And in, in the ggplot, there is this line width to use instead of size. When you do a ggplot uh, and you do a geom line or you have a, like the smooth and you want to change the size, you need to use line width instead of size. And that's it. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you for the presentation. <laughs> I know there were like new changes, but I really did not have time to look up the changes. And I think this link is cool. It has everything there. <laughs> yeah. So next week, for next week, I'll be presenting the chapter three, right? Yeah. So uh, I haven't looked at it, but I should be able to prepare for it next week. So I will not have new slides. I will just use the one at the, uh, the previous book, the previous cohort, the one that they have created. I think I will just use that one and just go through the syntax. If it's just, I think if it's just two of us, we should be able to go through everything quite fast, like using all this. It's normal. <laughs> because I think you are familiar with R as well. So the first three chapters feels like a bit repetitive, but anyhow, we will just go through it very fast. <laughs> then I'll see. I will also look at the new tidy words because I haven't been doing R quite a while. So I took a break, like one year break to recover. So, but I should, if I see any new things that I'll just update you next week during the presentation. So I'll prepare first and I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you.
Should we just end here? If yeah. you have nothing else. See you next week. <laughs> yeah, see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.